This capsized test was done with the ballast tanks full. Oh, watch out for slippery decks. The boat is a lot harder to tip over with the ballast tanks full, so I had to climb the mast while my brother leant out on a rope tied to the opposite chain plate. I was standing on the gooseneck of the main boom. You can see here that she floats lower because she has 300 kilos of water ballast inside the floor. She's now also harder to sink her through to 180 degrees. So both of us are standing on the mast now. And slowly she goes over to a full inversion. This time I rescue the centerboard before it bangs down completely. The uh, bilge runners on the underside of the hull make it much easier to get on top of the inverted boat. The bucket was tied on. You can see slowly the boat is taking on the, uh, the canted angle as the side tank floods with water. You can see the mainsail outhaul is released slightly, but apart from that and the ropes trailing over the side, she's uh, pretty much ready to go sailing. <laughs>